Hello guys, Dev Channel here, Riven out of video. Today I'm going to show you how to install the latest and greatest version of PhoneGap on your Mac OS X device. As for you guys, as you're working on a Windows machine, uh, the setup process is very, very similar, so you can watch the uh, tutorial, uh, of course, too. Um, yeah, I have discovered that if you're having to install PhoneGap, you're downloading a wrong version or an older version. So we're going to the dialog reception and hitting to get started. I believe this is fixed very soon, but you have to mention it that there are different versions on the links behind. Uh, as you might know, in the common or in the latest video where I discuss the install progress, you have to go through these uh, command sections. But they now have released a desktop application, which makes it much simpler to install PhoneGap and to test and run applications. So since we are on a Mac OS X uh, operating system, we're going to download the latest version of our Mac OS X installer. It's about 40 megabytes. And we are heading to download. In the meantime, I can tell you the getting started section of PhoneGap is very decent. So you have five steps you can read by your own if you got more time. Now uh, we're going to uh, start uh, the PhoneGap. Set up routine. We have to accept the license, terms and conditions, and now removing the phone apps program in the applications folder. This is a very, very basic routine. Now we're gonna go to programs and hang the phone gap. We have to do this because phone gap is not a very fat developer. So you have right click, open, and you have you have to open it, of course, and you have to run it this way. So we can close uh, Firefox. What you see now is the PhoneGap desktop application. There are some many points on the left. Uh, we're gonna go and hitting the plus button to add or open a project. Since we are downloading it new and we do not have any projects on our system, we're saying create a new project. You have to choose the local path, which is our desktop in this case. And we're saying we wanna make a demo iOS application. And you have to uh, fill in an ID, which is optional, but I would recommend it. AT Dev Channel Demo iOS application. And then you can hit Create Project. What happened now? PhoneGap have created a folder with all project relevant data on the, the space we have configured, which is our desktop. So we see the very, very famous www folder where your main entry point in the index html file is stored but this is very very familiar if you are using phone in the past which is now very interesting is that we're seeing the demo ios application the local path and we can start and stop things which means start and stop the server the server is now running on the ip address of your local machine and you get a port which is configurable in the settings what does it mean I also showed you in a demo. If you're heading uh, to our IT wise, which is my iPhone, you can now go to the App Store and install, if you're heading for PhoneGap, install the PhoneGap developer app. And as you see in the screenshot, you get a server address, which you have entered and connected. You see the PhoneGap application running on the server. So let's do it. Uh, what does it mean? That means if you're developing phone game applications, you do not have to buy the Apple developer membership, which costs about 100 bucks a year. So you're saving a lot of money of this if you only focused on providing these applications or testing. If you go in the store, of course, you have to buy it. So now we're going to head open the application. It's loading. And yeah, it's saying hi, hi. And now you have to enter the server address, which we're going to do right now. So we are putting in our numbers, 16819 and port 3000. And now we're hitting connect and see what happened. <clears throat> the application downloading the data from the server and displays phone gap device is ready, which is, as you might know, if you have uh, looked into the phone gap parts, if you open the Frix code, you can add a different area you want, of course this part, this page. If we're not going there and we're say 
Yeah, the browser event, which is fine. This is an event received. We're gonna say hello world. This is our first demo application. Now we're hitting save. Let's see what happened. It is nearly changed in real time. So now you can develop, you can test it, and you can see the result nearly in real time on your hardware we're going to develop, in this case, on an iPhone 6S. So that is absolutely an absolute bummer, which is, I'm not quite sure how to describe it. We can say, I don't know, description here, Dev channel rocks. Of course, drugs. Reading safe. Uh, you see there uh, in the server log. Uh, I want to show it to you on this part. It's listening on the port where the uh, device is connected and it also listens on the folders. So it detects the file has changed and putting up the, the new version to the client which is connected over wireless LAN in this case. And I think that is an absolute bummer. This works very, very handy. You can develop and you can preview your applications right now. And the only part which is, uh, I'm not quite sure if it's a big problem, the server must be running. So you cannot run multiple applications at once. You have to switch it. But okay, I believe you can live without it because you're not paying the 100 bucks here for the Apple part. So that is basically everything you have to do to install PhoneGap and to run it on your own device. You have to install the device on your Mac OS X system or Windows. You have to install the mobile application and then you have, yeah, you can start coding. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned a lot. And if you have any further wishes for future videos on my channel, do not hesitate to contact me. Hit like if you enjoyed, please subscribe to my channel Guys, see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.